Hello guys, hope you all are good and today we are going to do a very familiar project in Tinkercad. You must have seen a traffic lights. Our today's project is traffic light. First of all, we need to select the component Arduino Uno. So choose the component Arduino Uno from the component list. Name it is Arduino Uno. So Arduino Uno is here and the second component is breadboard. Choose breadboard. Before that, let's change this from basics to all. Now search for breadboard. So breadboard is here. We need a breadboard mini. Choose four mini breadboards and place it like this. So we should connect or place the first breadboard here. Now rotate this breadboard and place it over here. Likewise, place the rest of two also. So yes, we placed four mini breadboards. Now we need LEDs. Just change the basic and choose the LED. And let us place it here. So you know how to place this LED on breadboard. We have to connect a cathode and anode in two different connections. Now let's name it as LED1. Choose one more LED and name it as LED2. You should connect this LED in different connections. Now change the color from red to green. So we have placed two LEDs in this breadboard. Similarly, place a red LED and a green LED in rest of the breadboards also. So select LED. To connect in this breadboard, we need to rotate LED. So rotate it and place it here. Name this LED as LED3 and the color is red. Now choose one more LED, rotate it and place it in different connection. Name it as LED4, change color to green. So similarly connect LED 5, LED 6, LED 7 and LED 8. Yes, we have connected all the 8 LEDs in the breadboards. Now connect the terminal of LEDs to digital pins of Arduino. You know that LED has a cathode and an anode terminal. Cathode must be connected to negative terminal and anode to positive terminal. Let us connect all these cathode terminals to ground pin of Arduino. So you can see three ground pins in Arduino. We can connect these cathodes to any of these three ground pins. So 
So let's draw a wire. So draw a wire from this cathode of this LED and fix it here. Change the color to black because it is a negative connection. Now draw this wire to here. Next, from this LED, this red LED, draw the wire and just fix it there. So now just join these wires. So we connected the cathodes of these two LEDs together. Similarly, connect the cathode terminals of rest of the LEDs together. So here we will connect the cathode terminals of these two LEDs together. We need to make the wire color black as it is the negative connection. Let's connect all these four negative connections to ground pin of Arduino. Before that, connect negative connections together. For this, draw a wire. So we can draw this wire from this negative connection. Just join this wire to the negative connection over here. Change the wire color to black. Similarly, connect to the, all the negative connections. Also, make the wire kernel black as this is the negative connection. So, join these negative connections together. So, yes, we joined the negative connections. Now connect this negative connection to any of the ground pins in Arduino. So just draw the wire from this connection and can join it here. So we are connecting it here. Yes. So we are done with the negative connection. Now connect the anode of LED1 to D1 of Arduino. Connect this anode. To D1. You know how to connect this anode to the digital terminal of Arduino. Connect in that way. Just change the wire color to red. And just connect the anode of this green LED that is LED2. To D2 of Arduino. Now here in this right area we can connect the anode of red LED that is LED5 to D5 of Arduino and also the anode of green LED that is LED6 to D6 of Arduino. Let us connect that so draw a wire from anode and connect it to digital pins. Let's change the wire color to orange. So we connected the LEDs D5 and D6. Now let's move on to this breadboard placed over here. Here so we will connect the anode of this green LED to D8 of Arduino. So we will connect it here. And anode of red LED to D9. Let's connect the anode of green LED first. So draw a wire and connect it to digital pin. 
we will connect this to D8. Let's change the wire color to yellow. Now the anode of this red LED. We will connect it to D9 of Ordino. So let's connect that and change the wire color to yellow. here in this left region we will connect the anode of green LED to D4 and red LED to D3 so drag a wire from the anodes and connect it to D3 and D4 connecting the anode of red LED to D3 let's change the wire color we can change the wire color to pink. So yes, now connecting the anode of green LED to D4. So yes, we are done with the connections. Now let's do coding. We have four conditions. And the first condition is Green LED at the top will be on and red LEDs at left, right and bottom will be on. So here green LED will be on. This will be off. And here red LED will be on. Green will be off. Here also red will be on and green is off. Here also same. Red is on and the green is off. We need 8 set pin blocks and the green is off. We need 8 set pin blocks. Choose set pin from output. We have connected the green LEDs anode to D2. And anode of red LED to D1. Here green should be on. So set pin 1 to low and pin 2 to high. So make this 1 and 2. Now change this from high to low. So yes. Now here in this left side. Here also we need a 2 set pin block. We connected red to 3 and green to 4. Here red must be on and green must be off. So first change this to 3 and 4. Now set pin 3 to high and 4 to low. Apply same condition to down and right sides. Just duplicate these 4 blocks and place it over here. Here we connected the anode to 8 and 9 of green and red LEDs. We connected red to 8 and green to 9. So make this pins 8 and 9. Here we need to change this. 8 is low and 9 is high. Finally in this right side also we connected to fifth and sixth pin so make it five and six and fifth the pin must be high and sixth pin must be low now add a weight one second block now replace a one with two click on start simulation Yes, you can see green LED on the top is on and in all other sides, red LED is on. Let's move on to second case. In second case, red LED at the top must be on with the green LED off. Also, red LED at left side must be off with the green LED on. All other remain same. So here we need set pin blocks. 
so choose set pin blocks and change the pin to one and two here one must be high and two must be low and two must be low we need two more blocks of set pin so duplicate that now change the pin to three now set the third pin to low now change this to four and make it high Now finally add weight one second block and replace one with two. Click on start simulation. Can you observe the switching of LEDs as per our coding? Firstly the L, uh, green LED at the top is on and red LEDs at the rest of the place is on. Then it switches to red. Now the third condition is red LED of left side is on and green LED off with the green LED of down on and red LED off. Just duplicate the five blocks over here and change the pin to 3, 4, 8 and 9. Four. Here it is 8 and here it is 9. So we need to set pin 3 to high, 4 to low and also pin 8 to high and 9 to low. Now click on start simulation and observe the activity. We have one more condition to apply. So finally case 4 is to make the green LED at the right side on and on all other sides red LED must be on. Here also we need to set the pin to 8, 9 and set pin 8 to low and 9 to high. Also here we need to change the pin to 6 and 5. Here 5 must be low and 6 must be high. Click on start simulation and enjoy your traffic light. So guys, try doing this project by your own in Tinkercad and we will meet again in next session with another Tinkercad video. Till then, bye.